my friends this is Miss Golestani welcome to your art class today we are going to make texture sheets have you ever thought about texture think about different types of animals for example imagine you can even close your eyes or you can look at these photos of these animals imagine you're holding a very cute hedgehog in your hand you're patting the hedgehog how does it feel does it feel rough smooth soft spiky okay you tell me yes it feels a little bit spiky how if i hold a bunny in my hand when i pat it it feels very soft and smooth have you ever pat a snake how does it feel or have you ever hold a fish in your hand how does it feel think about the barks on the trees when you touch them yes they feel rough same as the surface and the texture of the rocks okay so different objects different creatures they have different types of texture when you feel them texture is how something feels and we are going to use this idea to create our own textured paper so we're going to use texture we're going to actually create texture using different types of materials and we're going to create those use those textures to create our textured paper you see this sample here that i started to make and sometimes we have some sort of rubbing texture sheets that we use but if you don't have them you definitely can make your own for today's project we need a piece of paper you can make more texture sheets if you need more you need more paper but we're gonna do just use one piece of drawing paper size 9 by 12 and then I want you guys to search for different types of materials that you can use um, as a texture so q-tips are good uh, toothpicks are good coins are great if you have these lego boards they have a nice texture if you feel them you can see we need a regular tape also we need we need a tissue okay so we may need glue stick or uh, we can also use white glue so i'm gonna go with glue stick today um, after that we need some sort of peeled off crayons or oil pastels different colors but you need to peel them off um, and we're gonna rub them over our textured sheets that we are gonna make sideways so this is why you need to peel them off we also need a second piece of paper uh, a regular paper just to make our uh, turn it into a textured sheet so this is going to be a texture sheet something like this and then this one is where we rub over and get these textures on it i will show you so in general we need two pieces of paper let's get started i am going to start by creating different textures first i'm gonna start by folding my paper twice this is the first time i'm gonna fold it hamburger fold the second time again another fold so that i can get four small sections which i can then cut into four pieces so that i will get four small size papers on this one i am going to use these q-tips I'm going to put these Q-tips on my paper with a piece of tape. So I'm just going to put the tape right in the center like this. And then I am going to repeat this until I will say five Q-tips are good. If you want to use more, ask your grown-ups at home if it is okay with them, use more. But I am just using five for now. I just want them to be even. 
distance from one another. It's good to put the tape right in the middle first, like this. So place the tape here and then see where the right place is and then just try to... And this is the last. This is one. I'm gonna put it aside. On this one, I'm gonna try putting these toothpicks. We just need a very small piece of tape. Again, I'm gonna put it right on the center. Then I'm gonna place it on my paper. So, so far I have two textured sheets and I can close my eyes, I can just feel them almost the same except the two ends of these uh, Q-tips are different from this and the thickness maybe also is different. So, this is it. Another type of textured sheet that I want to create is just by using um, scotch tape and for doing so I'm just going to cut uh, my scotch tape in a small pieces. I try to keep the sizes the same. So this is one. I'm just gonna cut almost like a rectangle or a square piece of tape. And you may not be able to see it right now because it's clear and the paper is white, but that's what I'm doing. And all I want to do right now is just to use this as a way for me to create texture. So this one, we can then use these textured papers for different art projects. Next art project for next week, actually, we're gonna use these textured papers for. And you can save them somewhere for future too. If you wanna do any collage artwork, you can use these papers. Don't worry if your pieces of tapes are not exactly the same size, mine is not either. For this one, uh, the tape paper, I'm just gonna use the whole paper. I'm done with this one. So I'm gonna start by working on this tape uh, paper first. So I'm gonna use two colored crayons. I'm gonna go with two hot colors. And I told you, I peel them off because I wanna rub over my texture sheet with them. That's what I'm gonna do. And I want to get a nice texture. So look at here. I'm going to go over all of these <laughs> pieces of tapes that I put down. And now you guys can see. Now I can see and I can feel it has a texture. Some, it has some bumps underneath my, <laughs> I feel some bumps underneath my crayon when I'm rubbing. And those are those pieces of tapes, right? And I'm getting a nice texture here. And I even can rotate my paper. Always, always put a messy mat underneath your artwork, especially right now. You don't want to get crayon on your table or desk surface. And you want to work freely. here now and now here okay if you like this keep it this way if you don't like these or if you want to experiment a new way of doing it you can peel off the tapes and it's gonna look like this so it's up to you how you want to use this Actually, I'm gonna keep these here and I'm gonna go over uh, this with another warm color. I'm gonna put it aside for now. I may need it again. Do you remember I told you we need another piece of paper? 
And that paper, I'm just gonna fold it twice again and I'm gonna cut it into four pieces. Now I am going to put this rubbing texture sheets underneath this paper like this and I'm gonna go with some cool colors this time so I'm gonna use this dark blue and I'm gonna rub over here sideways so that I can get the texture of this paper here on this top paper right now I'm gonna do something else, which is fun. I'm just gonna put it vertical and I'm gonna put this this way and then I'm gonna rub over again. Yay! I like my pattern that I'm getting from my textured sheet. So I can keep going if I want to. I can use another color. I'm gonna go with green this time. So see how it's fun to try both vertical and horizontal way of putting these You see? Okay. Now, if you want to keep going, if you like to keep going, you can. Um, you just can put it right beside here. So I'm aligning these lines with these lines, these with these, so that I can continue and I'm switching my color now. Let's see. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect, right? We are just playing and having fun. I'm gonna put it this way now. Rub this way. You can change your colors. I'm gonna switch back to that dark blue. I'm going to grab my other paper. This time I am going to use this Lego board. This is another one. You just need to wash them and you can just put them underneath your papers and rub over them. Okay, something like this. Okay, last one is making a textured sheet uh, by using tissue so all i need to do is to just rip this tissue into small pieces and then all i'm gonna do i'm gonna crumble it like this and i'm going to use glue stick this time, I always tell you to put your glue on to your small pieces. This time, it's different. Uh, this time, I'm just gonna put it directly onto the paper. I'm gonna put my crumbled piece right on top. Again, another. So I will create a pattern of these crumbled tissues on my paper in order to create or make a textured sheet okay and you 
probably need to be mindful of the size. Don't make your crumbles too big. Okay, I think my texture sheet is ready now. I'm gonna see how it works. I'm gonna put a paper on top, choose a color to rub over with. I'm gonna go with red and pink, starting with red. So let's see. <laughs> So the textured paper is a little bit bumpy, but you can see how I can get some sort of texture by rubbing over those crumbled tissues. This is another textured paper and you can combine your texture. For example, if I see this one is too simple, I may move my texture sheet underneath and use another color like orange instead of pink. I think orange works better. So far, I got these um, pattern papers and I am going to use this for our next week art project. Um, you also can save the extras for any collage art project that you want to do. Uh, one more thing for those who want to add more to this work. And that thing is uh, using watercolor if you want to and if you have watercolor at home. I need a brush, I need water container with water and I also need obviously some watercolor paint. And since this is not a watercolor paper, I'm not gonna use too much water, okay? So always when you're working with watercolor, have a tissue or a paper towel handy. Since these are all cool colors, I'm gonna go over them with a warm color. Just go over my textured or my pattern paper right now. I am getting some new textures because now that I'm doing this, um, the crayon is water resist and it pushes back the paint and I like the effect that I get. I'm gonna leave this to dry and I'm gonna go over some other um, papers that I made with watercolor. Again, this is optional. And then this part is done. Okay guys, on this part, um, I am going to actually make some pattern papers. So I use textures to make my textured papers, but right now I'm gonna use 
um, some colored papers and you can see I'm using some scrap papers that I already have I'm just gonna trim them and just draw and create some patterns on them you know pattern is when you repeat something in an organized way uh, we have pattern in math we have pattern in art um, okay and I am going to show you right now how to do this part and the idea is just to make different types of papers so we have these textured papers now we're gonna make some pattern papers and we are going to make all these different types of papers ready for our collage project you can save the extras for future projects next week we're gonna do a collage project and we are going to use these papers for that so this is trim this is spin trim um this i'm gonna save this one this is a good one i'm just gonna trim this one this part is very fun because it's all about making up your own patterns and creating your own designs for your work you can use any colored markers especially with light colored papers you can use different colored markers if you want to you can go just with black you can use black sharpie and you can do different patterns of lines and shapes it's absolutely up to you just make sure to use a good marker or sharpie this one is almost dry i'm gonna get another one So that those first three were from the zigzag family line <laughs> this one is more like a curvy line right and since it's a pattern i have to repeat it in an organized way dotted lines Okay, now that I have this number of pattern papers, I just wanna leave some of these papers simple. I may add patterns uh, later on. Uh, I am going to use my textured papers and pattern papers for the collage project that I'm gonna share with you next week. I hope that you enjoy this project. I hope that you make enough number of patterns and also textured papers and get ready for our next week art project thank you for watching have a great day bye